legendary tone. We've all heard it. We all have our idea of what it sounds like. And some of it even comes with a first name. And I don't think I need to say any more than Leslie. Well, thank you very much. But some people might think that's the cabinet for a Hammond organ. <laughs> right? <laughs> Leslie. Did you invent that, man? No, no, no. <laughs> but we were in a studio, and my manager said, I can't hear the Leslie. And the engineer said, what do you mean you can't hear Leslie? He didn't know that the speaker is that big wooden Go thing Leslie. is Leslie Manufacturing. But uh, till this day, I think uh, people don't know what the hell it is, you know. Mm -hmm. But I hate my mother for picking that name, Leslie, but now it's all right. You know, it's, it's stuck with it. Well, they know who you are, and that's what well, matters, you know. As long as they know the tone, you know, that's very important. You know, you can listen to somebody on the radio, like you look at a painting, you can see it's a Picasso or a Van Gogh or something like that. I want to be able to pick out, when I hear a guitar tone, I want to say, oh, I know who that is. It's Eddie Van Halen, or it's Clapton, or Hendrix, you know? Right. Other times you go, I don't know who the hell is that? And I don't want it to be a mistake, because sometimes a mistake is a mistake. You know, I want to be able to hear it. And the great thing is, that, is that, listen, I know it's a little tough for you to be on the camera since you're in the shop. You design these amps. And uh, looking at you, you'd never think that, you know, you actually built these damn things, because you look like a rock star yourself, Jeff. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. You know? Thanks. But you did a great job, and... Uh, well, I really appreciate that, man. And, uh, you know, as far as recognizable tone, I mean, you've got one of the all-time most recognizable tones out there. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it's, it's one of the things where you turn on the radio and you go, that's Leslie West. You must be excited about touring with Satch. Tell us how yeah, I'm going to learn a lot of new licks, Jeff. <laughs> Be sure of that. Sanchez yeah, I'm very licks. excited. First of all, Joe's manager was Mountain's first tour manager, Mick Brignan, when we first started. That's a long time ago. And uh, I'm just, I'm really thrilled. I, I love this playing. And uh, besides being an incredible bass player, he's got such melody in it. I'm a sucker for melody. You know, I love some kind of melody and all, all that. With all the notes. Yeah, yeah. with all the notes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you got a new record out called Masters of War. Well, it's actually not new, but uh, it's the last album we did. What, what made you choose uh, Dylan covers? You know, on my first album, uh, Leslie West Mountain, 69, I'm really dating myself here, ladies and gentlemen, but I did This Wheels on Fire, Dylan's song. And, um, when it came time to doing, uh, we got our own label, Big Rack now, through uh, Sony Red Distribution. So, did I want to sit down and write new songs? I didn't really have any ideas for that, but I started singing Blowing in a Wind, Serve Somebody, and uh, Subterranean Homesick Blues. And mm -hmm. they said, you know something? Uh, if I rearrange these songs, figure out which ones I could sing, First of all, and I don't want to sound like Dylan. You know, I could not, nobody could sound like Dylan. Right. So I wanted to arrange them so they sounded like they were new songs. Mm -hmm. And started progressing. And we needed more than three songs. You know, so Masters of War came up. And Masters of War, I sang it okay, but I, I thought, you know, I had played on uh, Ozzy's Prince of Darkness box set when he did Mississippi Queen. Sure. So I thought this would be perfect if I get him to sing on Masters of War. And I picked two verses that were perfect for him. And uh, I mean, I, I've been a fan of his voice, you know, all along. And uh, people don't realize what a great singer he is. Yeah, he truly is. He's, uh, he's better than people give him credit oh, for. Oh, absolutely. He really is. Absolutely. And uh, then Warren Haynes, a really good friend of mine uh, played on Serve Somebody with me. And the times there are changing. It was just me and him and the piano. And then Corky uh, sang a great version of like a Rolling Stone to his drums. That's My fantastic. Drums, Corky Lang, you know, he, he used to sing that a long time ago in his group. And he, he said to me, uh, can you sing the times there are changing to this beat? I said, absolutely not. I said, why don't you go out in the hallway, scream, Lose your voice will put a nice effect. And he did a great, really great job. You know, I hate drum solos, and so does most everybody, you know, <laughs> except for Ginger Baker's drum right. solo. But he did a really good job on it. And then we picked 
uh, another song is Heart of Mine that uh, Ravi Shankar's daughter, Nora Jones, at the end of that movie, Trial by Jury, mm -hmm. it's in the credits. And it's also a Dylan song. And I said, you know, I could try to sing this song. So I did, and everything is broke. And the song started coming around, and Todd Wolf, Sheryl Crow's uh, old guitar player, he's not old, but he was her lead guitar player. Mm -hmm. He played a lot of rhythm on it for me and uh, made my job easy. Oh, very cool, very cool. So, yeah, I've, I've heard the, uh, the CD, and the interpretations of the Dylan songs are just great, man. They really are. Well, I, I appreciate that. I mean, you know, the, the guitar itself. Blowing in the wind, I did a, acoustic. And then it goes into the heavy part. Mm -hmm. but the Stepping on 19 pedals. That's, you know, you, and by the way, you design the amp, so give yourself a little uh, credit. <laughs> well, here, thank you, man. You make it sound amazing, and it's, you know, the, the response that you get from the volume control and the pick attack through the amps is just, it's like a marriage. You well, know, I got my own a pick perfect up marriage. And finally, I figured out that, you know, you got to have everything going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, the fact that that, you know, on stage, I'll probably be using a 30 watt slave with 45 or 80 watt man. That's only a 30 watt I'm playing through right now. Right, correct. Which is mind boggling, <laughs> you know, because it's only on four. You know, so. <laughs> Beautiful, man. 